Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Motorsport Manager. So we're coming off of an absolutely great finish in China where we came home just minute, just missing a victory with a second place finish. But we were on the podium and of course, most importantly, we got some points. So now we're up to 14 points on the season. That is from a first and a second place finish to get there. So things are really going quite well. We're looking really good for our parts that we've developed for our car next year. And of course, we look to continue that momentum into next year. A big part of that is going to be our upgraded factory. You can see we've got two weeks left before that is done, and that's gonna give us the opportunity to work on four parts at a time, as opposed to only two in each section that we have right now. So that is gonna be huge for us at the beginning of the season. That's gonna mean that we can work on reliability quicker than what we currently can. That's gonna be huge, and of course, on the performance side of things, it's gonna mean that we can improve even more parts at the same time. So all of that is good news, and of course, we're looking to do some more building on the HQ during this off season, so a lot to look forward to and a lot to be excited about for next season. And why am I talking so much about next season? Well, we're right down to it now. This is gonna be our final race of this season, and it's going to be in Vancouver. So we're going up north of the border, for those of us in the U.S. anyway, going up north of the border to uh, Canada. And hopefully we're able to finish the year up strong. And there's an opportunity there for us. If we can get on the podium, uh, then we might have a shot at least tying for fifth place. So this gives us something to shoot for in the race. Hopefully we'll have enough speed to make that happen. So let's go ahead and get started with our emails. And again, we're gonna run through most of this and not worry a whole lot about it, particularly the pit crew. And let's see, we use team orders in the race, which is something that fans are not particularly keen on. Yeah, me either. What do you have to say to them? Uh, let's see. All right, we'll go with that. So it didn't appear we had any change at all based on that. Let's go ahead and move forward to get that car repair completed because I really want to see where we are with our parts. So we've got, okay, just where we left off. So we've got 10 left on uh, both of those parts. And so we're gonna keep an eye on that. It says 21 days before the race. So it's gonna be not much longer before that'll be done. And of course, all of this is coinciding with the factory being upgraded as well. So I really, really like that. There we go. There's our parts are done. Investment opportunity. Okay, let's see what we've got here. So one of our drivers has an opportunity and he is investing in the team. Okay. All right, so... Let's see what we've got. Apparently there's a whole raft of land in Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago going dirt cheap and he made some serious cash off of it. So he wants to invest back in the team. And all right, so we'll take it. Now that's gonna give us, um, should give us a little bit of money, but it doesn't look like it's hit. Uh, let's see, sponsorship offers. All right, we got one of those. So we'll keep an eye out and see how that goes. So accept investment, I almost missed that. Down at the bottom, so we'll accept that 250 grand. Thank you very much. Completely forgot about that being down there. There we go, so now our parts are done and our HQ building is almost done. Okay, let's just go ahead and clear that out of there. And now we want to work on two parts but again you can see we have these slots that are locked and they are all but opened up now we are right there at the time that that upgrade is going to be finished so we're looking to get to 292 and 242 and that will do it as far as our work that I can think of, of course we got our spec parts that we can't really do anything with yeah everything everything looks good I guess I'll go ahead and put the engine over here for reliability, but everything is looking really good for us having maximum parts 
uh, for the end of the season, and we should have a nice amount of money left to kick it off. So there we go. We got our our HQ is now done. It's upgraded to a level two. These are some nice sized buildings, by the way, that we've got here. I mean, this is a big complex that we've got. Of course, over here, if you're not familiar with the game, over here in this area, spanning all the way through here, this is where the test track will be when you build that. Okay, so you can see we have new buildings that are suddenly available, and that is because the buildings rely on how much you have upgraded either the factory or the design center or both, for that matter. So that's why you have what you have. And so now we can we can build Brakes Facility, uh, Telemetry Center, and you can see right here, look at this, Telemetry Center is where we're going to work on the gearboxes. This will open up the great components. We've only had access to the first two tiers of components so far. This will open up the third tier, and that is really good. It also works on some driver improvement, but realistically in the game, that is almost non-existent. It works a little bit but not near as much. In fact, I did a video back when modding was first announced as going to be a part of the game. And that's one of the things I really wanted to improve on. So if I ever decide to do a mod, that is going to be one of the things I address is driver improvement rate. It's just, it's minimal at this point. But you can see here, it only costs $5.25 million for that, as opposed to, you know, brakes, 8 million, test track, 8 million, and so on this is huge so this is what i want to build i want a telemetry center and we've got the money to do it right now now this would probably put us a little bit in the negative after the final race but i'm not worried about that okay so i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and let's get started i couldn't remember how much this cost but let's go ahead and get started with that so that leaves us a million dollars which is going to roughly put us break even by the time we are done with this season, but that is huge. It's also going to open us up to some other possibilities once we get to the end of the season and we get our next influx of cash. So here we have also, in addition to the new buildings that we can, uh, can build, we can also upgrade. We can continue to upgrade the factory to level three and get even more part development staff. We could also upgrade our design center which opens up some additional buildings such as the wind tunnel simulator and so on so all of these are good options and ultimately we want to get all of them uh, and continue to upgrade them because once you build it you can continue to upgrade it and so on so a lot of work to do on the hq for sure before we get there but 20 weeks before the telemetry center is ready to go that should be more than plenty for what we need uh, let's see. We don't need to worry about the pit crew sponsorship. We're still waiting on a final. Okay, let's head back into the car screen. And yeah, there we go. There's our empty slots. But now you can see instead of 10 staff, we have 20 staff available. So they're going to work on that and get things done even quicker. So very happy about that. That means we get done with our parts. In this case, it shows to actually right before the race starts, but that's not really an issue for us, even though we will gladly take it. Okay, so at this point, we're waiting for, hopefully, another uh, sponsorship offer to fill out the list. Let's see, a TV piece. What do we have? Well, we can get 100 grand and lose some mechanic. Now, we're not, the 100 grand doesn't mean that much to us. So we're not going to worry about that. Okay, so let's move things on forward. I keep waiting for that sound. For the sponsor, doesn't look like we're going to get it though. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to get that. So let's just go ahead with the two offers that we do have on the table. And if these look familiar, they should. This is the same ones that we've really been looking at, fifth or above. And so I'm going to take the second option here. There we go. Now we got a bunch of more emails. And yep, we're not going to worry about any of that. 
Okay, so final race of the season. We have a balance of $1.7 million. Very nice. We'll take that. And we'll hope for a fifth or above. So either way, we're going to end up in the green at the end of the season. And then we'll have a whole bunch of stuff to do in the off season. All right, let's go ahead and do the auto pick. Wow. These guys, it just seems weird to see tire wear is high, but yet you're using ultra soft tires. That just, okay, we're definitely not going to be doing that. Uh, let's see. Wow, we've got plenty of tires. So we'll just go ahead and do our new normal three, six, and six because my goal here is going to be to use the super softs. And no parts to worry about here. So it's time to head to the racetrack. All right, practice and qualifying now out of the way. And boy, qualifying did not go well for us at all. No trickery re regarding the, the strategy on the weather. Uh, it was sunshine the whole time. And boy, did, we just it didn't have any speed at all. Uh, we So we're going to be starting at the back of the field. And yeah, that does not bode well for the race if that continues on. So our knowledge bonuses exactly what we have been using with the exception of I just used the bonus on the tires here on car number two not that it's going to matter a whole lot we're going to be using the super softs on car number one because it matches up almost exactly with the fuel so that should be pretty good for us there and then the soft tire on car number two just because I don't want to have to deal with it and I'll give them the, the longest lasting tire I can and then our strategy um, I do plan on using the higher engine mode some with car number one, but we'll see how it all uh, works out. I'm going to try to match up the tire and the fuel as best I can. All right, so let's go ahead and get that out of there. Let's see. Oh, we got that backwards. Let's go ahead and get our camera lined up. All right, so nowhere to go but forward, of course, when you're starting in the back. And I'm ready to get this thing started and see if we can't make up some room. In a nice mixture of tires you can see on the grid. We're going to try to make these tires last as long as possible because by default it showed that the tires would last uh, about, I think it's about 55 minutes or, or so. All right, what just happened? Oh, we had a, a crash right at the very beginning. So let's go ahead and I'm not even going to worry about car number two. Uh, do we want to pit? Um, I see no reason to pit, but we do want to save all of the fuel and everything that we can. I suppose we could pit, but realistically, uh, our biggest issue is not going to be really helped out a whole lot. We might get a couple more laps by pitting now, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to worry about it. I think going into the blue on car number one will be will be sufficient for what we want to do. I hate coming into the pits any more than we have to, especially with our pit crew issues we've been having. Alright, so coming back in, now it's time to get back to the racing. And again, I want to see what kind of speed we've got, if anything. If we have some speed, then I want to try to be as aggressive as we can. But if we don't have any speed, then there's no sense in being really aggressive. I want to keep an eye on the tire temps. Because we want these tires to wear as least amount as possible. I think we got a real gift there with the early caution because not only did we pick up a position from that but we also got the benefit of saving some fuel and tire and driver stamina so all of that uh, really looks good I think to help us make it all right let's go ahead and turn the engine up a little bit I think we can afford to do that with those laps under caution really don't want to turn up the wick on the driver too much because of that stamina issue and also the tire I know it doesn't have any tire temperature in it right now, but 
but I'd rather have that as an issue as to wear out the tires much quicker. All right, but we're hanging in there on speed. I mean, you can see as far as the top five go, we're not that far off right now. And we'll have to, oh, we got driver mistakes and we're not even pushing. So there you go. There's a big chunk of your tire that goes every time she does that. Uh, weather is not an issue. So yeah, there's, that's why we don't want to push. Yeah, we're hanging in there pretty good on speed. And let's see. Yeah, we're losing touch a little bit with the leaders for sure. Uh, fourth and above, I would say. All right, we are ignoring car number two as long as possible. So you can see right ahead of us, they are really low on tire, but we're more in line with the guys in the top five right now, which is good because they're on a harder tire than us. So that is exactly what we're hoping for. In fact, we're even in better condition tire-wise than the car, uh, the cars behind us, really. So I'll take this right now. Even though tire temps are not optimum, this is working out pretty good, actually. Okay, car in 17th is going to be in for a pit stop very shortly. So even with the driver mistake that took, uh, I don't know exactly how much of the tire it took away, but it definitely took some of the tire away. We're still hanging in there. All right, there's the pit stop. Okay, so far so good. And again, we're hanging in there for at least an opportunity to get into the top five. Whether or not it pans out, we'll have to see. But the timing of this first pit stop is looking pretty good. Driver stamina is hanging in there. The tires are hanging in there as good as they can anyway. And we need 13 more minutes out of our number one driver in order to get to where we need to get. But the tires, I'm afraid, are not gonna make it. That's what I'm afraid of. That we're getting very low on tire for this particular tire. We can't let it run down into uh, the teens, really. All right, so I'm trying to hang in there as long as I possibly can before doing that pit stop. But yeah, we're getting extremely close to just having to do that stop. In fact, yeah, we're there. We're gonna have to do it next time by. We'll go ahead and put in Lee. And let's see, I'm gonna try to get a little bit longer stint out of Lee, so let's go ahead and put the harder tire on, which is odd to say because it's the soft tire. Go ahead and fill it up. And hopefully, we can make this thing last. Okay, as we've now entered the pit cycle, uh, you can see we've moved up into, I believe that was fourth position before we darted into pit lane. Main thing here is no mistakes. I didn't see any so far. Nope, doesn't look like we had any. We'll take it and we'll continue moving right along. Okay, now we're gonna have to get this poor driver out of here. Patrick is down to two stamina. All right, so let's give a fresh set of tires, fill it up with fuel and go back at it again. Okay, can we please go back to the driver that is moving? All right, so we're about 16 seconds out and we'll see how it all works its way through with the pit stop. It looks like almost everybody, wow, that's, that's some good wear on those tires. So they're still waiting to come in and they've made it an hour. So they've, if they're gonna do this on, it looks like they are, they're going to do this on two stops then they are right in line with where they need to be we however had to make up some ground because of our tire situation so let's push a little bit I think we can get by with pushing a little bit on these tires but I'm not going to push a whole lot tire temps will just have to be where they are 
but I do want to keep us as much as possible with a shot at this top five and getting some points here in the final event of the season. It's looking like getting beyond that is going to be difficult, but we're going to give it everything we've got because you never know what can happen. All right, so we are very close now within just a few seconds of the points paying position. So now we'll go back to caring for these tires. You can see we're not as in as good a position with the fifth place car on tires as we are probably fourth. Uh, but then you can see, wow, up here at the front, they are going full speed mode and that is a lot of fun. Again, for those of you who have played the game, uh, you've probably tried that before, but whenever you have a car with speed and you just keep putting the softest tires on and just trying to bludgeon all the opponents with pure speed, you have to make a bunch of pit stops doing that, but boy, it is fun to watch with those drivers out there absolutely just putting a blistering pace on. All right, please pit me. You've been in the car for 25 minutes. Not likely. All right, so we're nearing the halfway point of this stint, 30 minutes. So you can see it lines up fairly good with our strategy, but we're still a few minutes off that we need to make up. And let's, let's push a little bit. And we'll see. We'll see if we can make up any time. You can see, again, we're still just a, a few seconds, two to four seconds out of the points paying positions right now. So we're in really good shape. All right, that's enough pushing. We need to back off once again to make sure these tires last as long as we need. Of course, we're going to have an issue here with the fuel as, as well. We want it to last as long as possible. Yeah, we're going to be we're going to be very close to making this on two stops, and of course that all assumes that we don't get any weather, which for the time being it doesn't look like we're going to get any. All right, keeping an eye out. Oh, we got another crash. Do we have a safety car? Is the key. And I don't see one. So it looks like we're just going to keep right on going. Right, let's go ahead and get our next pit stop ready. And fuel, go ahead and fill it up. There we go. Poor Welker, she just, she's trying as hard as she can, but she just can't get it done. All right, so yeah, we're definitely losing time. Oh, we got some more pit stops. That moves us up into, at least for the time being, it moves us up into the points paying positions. Just barely though. Got another car hot on our heels and you can see fuel is running down now as we get really close fuel tires everything is is running down as we get close to where we need to be for our strategy to work so we're going to hang in there as long as we can on this but boy it is we're going to back down a little bit more on the fuel for this last stint in order to make it last, because it's going to be a little over an hour, it looks like, for that final stint. Okay, we moved up. We're now in fourth. And you can see, this is lining up pretty good. Fuel and tires wearing out about the same time as driver's stamina. But again, we are trying to get all we can 
All right, let's go ahead and queue up that last, what we hope to be the last pit stop. We're going to stay on the soft tires and most definitely fill it up. All right, that should take care of that. Let's see if we can't get this thing done. Okay, no mistakes. Keep us with an opportunity. There we go, everything complete. Fueling complete. Everything looks good. All right, so we're back down into 18th. Of course, we'll pick up another spot here with the pit stop. Well, we should have. I thought we were going to anyway. All right, so this gives us really our only opportunity. You can see we're pretty close by and on the same strategy as those in front of us. We've got a shot here that that one of these cars is not going to make it to the end. They're going to run out of tire first. But we'll see. I am definitely not going to be pushing. We're going to need all of the tire and fuel that we can get. Alright, so there was a collision there. It doesn't appear no message of any condition issues. Okay, it looks like we come out of it pretty good. All right, we're in danger of losing actually a couple of positions here. You can see it's pretty thick here in the center of the grid. I mean, there's a lot of cars vying for, you know, about fourth or fifth down through about tenth. So the key for us is, in this particular case, uh, these guys I don't think are going to make it to the end of the race. But everybody up above will probably be able to do so, with the exception of maybe second place, maybe. Sometimes the AI can do amazing things with tire wear while maintaining speed. We don't have that ability just yet. You can see 19th place. They are putting a lot of pressure on us right now. But they're going to be coming in for another pit stop, I would have to think. All right, we got yet another driver mistake from car two. And keep in mind, this is all without us pushing that car at all. So it gives you an idea whenever you have a lower quality driver just what they're capable of good and bad especially whenever you run them down as low on stamina as what we are all right so 30 minutes left uh, things are looking good for car number one let's see well let's hope that Patrick can make it to the end Put him a fresh set of tires on. Might as well just fill him up. Alright, let's go ahead and start pushing a little bit with the tires. Simply because, remember, if, if we don't get up to the points, then it really doesn't matter where we finish. And it looks like everybody above us is, for the except, with the exception of second place, is going to be finishing this race without making another pit stop. So we really don't have anything to lose here. Even if we lose positions or anything like that, it's really not going to matter. So we've got 20 minutes left. Coming up on 20 minutes left in the race. Uh, oh, we got pit for repairs. All right, that's good for us. That moves us up one more spot, one spot closer to the points playing positions. And we've got as much or more, actually, more tire left than those around us. So pushing really hasn't hurt us all that much as far as 
uh, our tires in relation to those around us. Okay, the car immediately behind us will be coming into the pits, or at least slowing way down. Okay, so I'm liking our opportunities there. But we really need to make up a whole bunch of time or have some of these guys come in for a pit stop before the end of the race. 13 minutes left. And there you go, pit stops. So they're going to put on the softest tire and they're going to go as hard as they can to try to catch us. Uh, and at this point, let's go ahead and move the fuel up a little bit. And really don't want to move the tires up all that much, but we're going to try to protect this points paying position. It would be nice for us if a couple more of these guys would come in to pit. I would really like that. Because a podium position is really what we need to try to make up enough points. I have no idea where where the Russian oil team is, but that's the team we would try to tie for fifth position in the team placings. All right, so we're getting down to it. Rinse out of five minutes remaining. And we're in the points paying position quite nicely, in fact. Okay, tires running low. Everything's running low at this point. You can see stamina is right down to the bottom right up next to that red area drivers running wide all over the place now <laughs> alright so one minute left if we can just hang on for one more lap okay I don't think we took the checkered there doesn't look like it alright so we got this final lap and yes low fuel low tires low everything but we made it. So we'll come home not quite with a podium finish, but we do come home with some points and we will take it. Any points you can get, you take. Particularly when you are this far off the pace like we are. But that's going to end this season, which is going to make for a very interesting off season. We'll talk about that more in our uh, next video, which will take us through the off season. But for now, no worries about rules being broken. All right, so the team championship, wow. Okay, so it looks like those guys really got some nice points in that last race. So we got a tough hill to climb. And admittedly, that's a big part of the fun of this game. Uh, there are ways that you can start the game with much better equipment, better drivers, and all that kind of thing. But to me, it takes a lot of the fun out of it because once you've won the championship, then what? What do you want to do? In our case, we're starting at the bottom of the lower of the two tiers, so we've got a long way to work. A lot of work to be done, a lot of HQ buildings to build, a lot of parts to develop, all sorts of stuff that is absolutely tons of fun. So our team marketability continues to disappoint me. <laughs> I would love for that to go up much quicker. And there we go. 888000 is how much we lose. But we're still going to end up in the green to end the season. So I think we managed our money pretty good. Again, you can get by with going deeper into the red. But I like to try to stay in the green as much as we possibly can. All right, there you go. World champions. And so they had six race wins. Yikes. You want to talk about domination. Wow. Out of nine races, they won six of them. Very nice. Let's see how much money they won. 22.6 million. Very nice also. I am very excited to get our uh, new our new package going for next season. And that that amount of money that we're going to get for the prize funds is definitely going to help. All right, so that'll do it for our final race of season number two. Thank you very much for joining me. Stay tuned next time where we're going to delve into all the excitement that is the endurance off season. So stay tuned for that. For now, thank you for joining me and stay tuned for more of our Let's Play series of Motorsport Manager.